Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Force USA headquarters. And in today's video, we are going to do an arm workout, biceps and triceps on this right here, the Force USA G10 all-in-one trainer. Now we already have a full body or almost full body workout on the Force USA G15 all-in-one trainer. The difference between the G15 and G10 essentially, they're identical, the base kits are identical, and also the upgrade kit is available and compatible with both the G10 and G15. The G10 is a center-loaded, plate-loaded trainer, and the G15 is a weight stack all-in-one trainer. The attachments are all the same in the base kit, and also what we're gonna use specifically are the cable pulleys, the four to one and two to one cable pulley system. So it's really just a unique thing. I love using it on G15, but in my opinion, the real test is using it on the plate loaded version, the G10. And what I'm gonna do is mostly unilateral movements for biceps and triceps, because I can go from the two to one to an even lighter four to one. So right now we have 50 pounds on here in the back. You're gonna split that up. That's a little hard on the four to one for math. So what we're gonna do is add another 10 on each side, essentially 60 pounds, which will make 30 on the two to one and then 15 on the four to one. So let's get started with the workout. We're gonna kind of be organic and live with it as I'm going through these exercises and how I feel about the play loaded and moving from yesterday's workout as we're recording this from the G15 to the G10. So I just wanna remind you also that I really love that they have a four tier plate holder system, which as I put this in here, has the spacing even for these bumper plates so they don't overlap at all. I think that's a really nice touch. And, and also the height of this hasn't been really been raised from previous models. So it's still a really great footprint and they added that extra plate holder. And I said in previous videos that I could essentially just give up or kind of get rid of the Titan Fitness storage rack, which is the quality on that just sucks and put the plates here. And then with the upgrade kit in the center here, I can put some of my kettlebells and even my power block adjustable, uh, I have an adjustable kettlebell too, but the power block adjustable dumbbells could go on the four shelves in the center. So I can essentially just converge everything into one all-in-one trainer. And that is something that I think really need, bears repeating because it's a really great feature to do that. And we're gonna talk about the depth and all this stuff compared to the G15, which one you might wanna go for. So we have a dedicated video of the comparison of my first week really using these things here at the headquarters and what my opinion is currently between this one and this one. So before we get started, I wanna talk about the four to one and two to one cable pulley ratio. Yes, I did say four to one. I just wanna remind you, when you grab both hooks here, both these hooks are hooked up to, I have the rope here, I'm gonna hook them both up for a two to one cable pulley ratio, essentially making it 30 pounds since I have 60 pounds in plates. One hook is a four to one, so that'll make it 15 pounds on that. So it enables you to basically work in with somebody that wants to work a lot lighter, do essentially maybe a burnout set or something within a drop set. It is really, really nice. So we have the rope here. I'm gonna start off with bilateral movements. And this is a little trick that Dan taught me because I was like, oh, it's gonna be kind of difficult to hook these both together uh, with say something like the rope. Now what you wanna do is just hook this in here and then hook it in there. So both of these all-in-one trainers come with plenty of hooks, because I want like, cabineers, did I pronounce it correctly? I'm not sure. They come with plenty of hooks that you can essentially just keep on your, on your attachments. So it's probably basically for this one better to have it, there we go, have it like that. So these come with plenty of hooks, both all-in-one trainers. So basically I would leave this on the rope, leave it on a lap pull down, or whatever other attachment I use quite often. And then I can just hook these up, do that. And then when I wanna to drop to a four to one, I just do that. Now, mind you, I just picked the top one. For this particular exercise, it's better to pick the bottom one because this one's gonna be kind of rubbing against that. So I can take that off and just pick that one. And now this is not hitting this and this isn't inhibiting this. So for biceps, you're gonna basically do the opposite. You're gonna pick the top one as you're doing a curl up like that. Triceps, you're gonna pick the bottom one or anything from the top as you go in a downward motion. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the reverse tricep push down on this one and I have the bottom hook right here for this one. And we're also gonna do reverse grip bicep curls with this one. And you can see I have the 
top hook here. So that's essentially the way you want to do it. When you're doing a push movement or something from the top to the bottom, pick that bottom hook. When you're doing a pull movement or anything from the bottom part, you pick the top hook. So that's the, I'll remind myself of that as we go along. Uh, we have 60 pounds here. So essentially a reminder, two to one is 30, four to one is 15. So we have 15 pounds here. And what I'm gonna do is just get a little bit, and I can tell already that I'm just not feeling it today. It's just one of those days, uh, especially when your camera throughout the workout videos in the past couple days are going out. So hopefully we won't have that problem or when we get back home, we're gonna upgrade to another camera. It's just another excuse to get more technology uh, for production. So I always look at it as a, as a positive, not a negative. So let's try to get through this very quickly before the camera decides to shut off in yet another video. All right, so now we have 50, so it's gonna be 25 and then four to one, should make it like 12 and a half, maybe 12. Um, and let's see how this feels. That feels a little bit better. So we're gonna go six to eight reps because we're doing unilateral one arm at a time. I already know the reverse grip on my left is gonna be very weak, even on the right because I have a bicep injury that I've been fighting, uh, but that's why we do this. And I'm gonna address the flaws and videos like this remind me that I need to actually work on the things that I suck at. So let's go through, we'll do a couple sets and I'll get hopefully the idea by then. If not, we'll do three to four sets. Let's go over here, right to the pulley. I can get pretty close to it. Let's start down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's stick with six reps. And I'm gonna just go on the opposite side here. I'm gonna go around here, just see what it feels like. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I kind of backed myself into a corner because I can't even switch it and buy myself any rest time, <laughs> but it's a good way to go and efficiently just work back and forth. One, I bought myself a few seconds there. Two, three, four, five, and six. Go to the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, Six. This this feels and sounds extremely smooth to me. Let's go right into this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm telling you right now, I thought I was going to, let's go to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought this was gonna feel so much different than the G15 weight stacks. And as far as my initial impressions right off the bat, it doesn't feel that much different. I feel the resistance and also I feel the smoothness because sometimes play loaded trainers, I think that's three, four, five, and six. Sometimes play loaded trainers can feel like they have a bit of drag to them, but maybe it's the new design on the cable pulley system on the outside. Maybe it's the four to one. It feels really, really smooth, even though I'm really, really weak on this side. Three, four, five, six. Let's do another set here. Let's just keep going. Heart rate's at 115. It feels very, very smooth. And to be able to go from heavy with a two to one or heavier and then to the four to one, that's pretty cool. Two, three, four, five, move around here, six. Let's move right here, see how it feels like at this angle. One, two, and move as we go, three, four. Not that you're gonna do this, but it doesn't feel like when it's in different positions that it's gonna drag differently. So I'm just gonna move around this one. One, two, three, and four, and five. Just as smooth, no matter which way I go with it. Six, now I'm gonna go this side. One, step, two, you'll never do this, but I'm just, it's a, for science. Three, a little tighter there, four, still smooth. Five, almost right up against the rack and right up against the rack. Just wanna stay lined up and six. So when you go closer, obviously it's not gonna go flush with this, but each rep was just as smooth. Let's do one more, that feels good now. I feel nice and warmed up. Hopefully I look like I got a good pump in my arms. One, two, stay right here. Three, four, five, six. 
I'm even off center from this and it feels just as smooth. The cable's not, it still feels pretty damn smooth. One, two, three, let's go over here. Four, still smooth, five, six. And obviously you're not gonna force that over and try to do that. You wanna stay in line with the, uh, the cable where it goes through the wheel. One, two, three, four, five, Six, now I'm starting to feel weak. This will be it after this one. One, two, and it's right up against there, but it's still smooth, and it is a little bit to the left. Three, four, five, six. That's it. I, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty impressive, because I thought this was gonna feel much, much different than the G15. So like I talked about with the G3, I had the previous model G6, which was a weight stack all one trainer, moved to the G3, which I enjoyed using for a year and I still have it at the time of this recording. But also looking at either getting the G15, G15 over there off camera, this is the G10, as my new all in one trainer for the home gym and the next step in my home gym business journey. Uh, it feels, the G3 felt really good, but this center loaded G10, with the new pulley system feels much, much smoother, smoother in my opinion. That's my opinion, but after using that for a full year, which is no slouch, this is a vast improvement in my opinion. And the fact that I can do what I do with the G3 and upgrade, the upgrade kit for the G15 is also compatible with the G10. So the G3, I upgraded with the leg press attachment, upgraded with the pull-up bars and stuff like that. With this, you can upgrade leg press attachment, shelving so I can put my kettlebells, I can put my power block dumbbells back there and really store everything that I can. Also the four weight plate holders on this and the 15 enable me to essentially get rid of that storage rack that I have in the home gym and create space by getting one of these. Uh, the TV monitor accessory or TV mount accessory also can take the TV off the wall and put some other stuff up on the wall to hang like bands and stuff like that. So essentially, if you're gonna go with this or the 15, you're talking about a very, it, literally an all-in-one trainer, a more of a converged, efficient type of setup. Uh, and the footprints are a little bit different. So I'm gonna do a dedicated video as I'm here at the headquarters talking about footprint of the G10 versus G15. Because the number one thing, if you have a home gym space or a garage gym, is space, is the footprint, is making the most out of the space you work out in. So that may be what makes the decision between the 10 and the 15. We're gonna do a video on that. I'm very, very impressed with the smoothness, the feel, the resistance feel, the new cable pulley system, especially being two to one and four to one is very, very cool. So essentially the G10 and G15 are identical except for plate loaded on the G10, weight stacks on G15, upgrade kits are both compatible with both all-in-one trainers. I have nothing else to say except I'm very, very impressed and it makes the decision very tough. I promised my wife a weight stack uh, trainer, which I will follow through with, but if she got to use this, I don't know if she would, uh, with the four to one ratio, if she would feel like she's missing out with the plate loaded stuff as opposed to the weight stack. It's a tough call, it's a good decision to make, first world problems. Very, very blessed to be able to bring these videos and review this stuff. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the G10 watch the other videos and let me know which one you like and which one you would like to see a review on in the home gym because I like to listen to you guys, get feedback, and also move forward with content that you guys want to see. So if you decide to get this, the G10, G15, or anything else in the Force USA lineup, please use my affiliate link. You'll save on the G10, G15, G3, and other stuff. And also it helps support the content here on the YouTube channel. Most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.